Hey everyone, I'm Bernhard and in this video I want to give you a quick introduction to Rock Migrations. That's a very, very powerful module that I've started building in January 2019. So that means the module is uh, at the moment almost four years old and it has almost 500 commits. I'm using it in every single project and it can tremendously help you if you are working on a process via project in a team or if you want to push your code to different environments. So for example, a staging environment or a production environment, because then you can write your code once and all the changes that need to be done in the process via database will be done by Rock Migrations. So you don't need to tell your team members uh, for this code to work, you need to create a field and then maybe you also need to create another template. That is history when using Rock Migrations and it has a lot more to offer. So let's jump right in. Okay, so this is a fresh installation of, of ProcessWire as always and Rock Migrations is already available so we can install it. And then the next thing we want to do is to sync the VS Code snippets to the ProcessWire root. So if I submit that, we will see that um, Rock Migrations already created the file site migrate PHP that comes with some sample code and it also uh, moved the process via and Rock Migrations snippets for VS Code to the VS Code folder in the um, process via root directory or in the project root directory. So one concept of Rock Migrations is that you can place migrations wherever you want. You can place them in a migrate file, you can place them in a module or um, you can place them in a custom page class. I will show you two of these methods. And the easiest way to get started is to place your migrations in the migrate PHP file. If you set up your ID correctly, then you will get a helpful uh, code completion. And so we can say create field demo one. Then we can add this field to the home template. So we say add field to template. Then we choose the field demo one and we choose the template, which is home. So we save that and we refresh the page and we have our, fa our field here. So that is already great, but um, always refreshing the page is tedious. And so you can use Rock Frontend to get live reloading while writing your migrations. That's a really, really uh, helpful thing. And it's really fun to write migrations in that way. So go to the modules and um, install Rock Frontend, which is already there. Uh, Install module, go back to the home page, and just need to set the config setting, which is config live reload equals one. Uh, so we create another field, let's call it demo two, and then we add this demo two to the home page. And once we save that, we get an instant refresh on the right, and we see the field appear on the screen. Now let's add some more fields um, to demonstrate that again, and we we use rm migrate and that takes an array of fields and an array of templates. So we add the demo one field and also two, three, four. And then we say the home template. Um, and we set the fields property of the home template to the title field and then demo one, two, three, four and then we can get rid of the old uh, instructions and we can save that file and we should get the reload and all the four fields, yep. And um, now let's change the label of the demo one field to demonstrate how that works. So you can not just create the field, but you can also uh, define the settings for the field. So for example, the default type is text and you can also change the label of the field, my demo label and save that. And now we have the my demo label here and we could, for example, also change that to a text area field, save that. 
and now we have a text area field here and then let's say we wanted to have the demo 2, 3 and 4 fields side by side so we can also set the um, field properties in template context uh, which I like to do when it comes to the column width settings so it's column width and that equals 33 and once we save that uh, that didn't work yeah of course it's not column but there is a typo here so it says column width and then we can save it and then we have the expected result with three fields side by side you might think whoa uh, how do you know all these um, settings and where can I find all the properties that are available so there is um, two options uh, one option is to use the snippets that uh, rock migrations comes with so if you type rmf in vs code then you get the field snippets so for example let's add a uh, date time field and we call that demo 5 and we say my date time field as a label and then we leave everything else as it is and then of course we have to add the demo 5 field to the template again and once we save that we have our daytime field here and for example if you wanted to move this field directly after the title we can simply move this line up and we could also set a custom label here in the template context enter date here and we save that and that's ugly of course so we change the column width again to 50 here and also here and we save that and um, another option that you have is that you can um, go to your field so for example let's take the demo one field and once you get rock migrations installed then you get uh, the warning and you can also inspect the rock migrations code from your field settings and then you just uh, you can just copy and paste whatever you need um, if for whatever reason a migration does not trigger properly then you can trigger the migrations manually as well so um, there are two options one option is to do a modules refresh in the backend then it will trigger all the migrations and uh, run all migrations and the other option is to trigger the migrations via the command line so if you are using ddef then you have to do that from within your container so we do a ddef ssh now we are in the container and then you can do a php site modules rock migrations migrate php and then you see all the logs and we see that it refreshes the module then it loaded site migrate and it triggered rock front and migrate okay so now you know how to write the migration but um, obviously putting everything into migrate php is not uh, the most beautiful uh, thing to do so um, as we are only doing stuff with the home page let's uh, move all these migrations into the home page page class so we can get rid of all that and um, save the file and then we can open the home page page class file and move that into a dedicated migrate method so we do public function migrate and without any arguments and it returns nothing and then we uh, just copy all the code here and we have to um, get the rock migrations module which you can easily do with the snippets and then we have the same thing um, just a little better organized in the custom page class but the problem here is that if we added another field here it's called it demo uh, 6 and let's add that right after the two fields on the top so it's demo 6 here 
and we save that page. Uh, we get the reload in the browser, but we don't have the field here. So why is that? Um, of course, Rock Migrations does not yet know um, that we added this code in the migrate uh, method. So we, have, so we um, have to tell Rock Migrations about that. And that's very easy with the latest version of Rock Migrations. You simply say use, uh, use magic page. And now, once we save that file, Rock Migrations will automatically uh, detect that it is a magic page and that it has a migrate method and it will also trigger the migrate automatically. That is a very new feature of Rock Migrations and I really love that. But magic pages um, do have a lot more to offer. So for example, we could add a note to the demo 6 field that is only visible to super users. And um, we could do that by adding a hook. Uh, and for adding a hook, hook to the page class, we can add the init method. And let's see, init homepage and save that. And we get the refresh. And um, we see in the dumps panel that on every reload, we get the init homepage. So we can add our uh, hook here. We can say this wire add hook after and then we can hook into process page edit build form content and do the callback and then we say the form is the event return and and we say the field is form get demo six. Then we can say f notes equals hello super user. And once we save that, we should get the note here hello super user. And of course, we have to wrap that in an if condition if this wire user is super user then show the note. Uh, this is actually the hard way to do it because um, we told Rock Migrations that it is a magic page and so we can get rid of all that uh, and we can simply add a, uh, another method, a magic method that is called um, edit form and it takes the form as uh, first argument and we can get rid of the hook and even get rid of the init method and simply um, say the field is form get demo 6 and add the node if, it, if the user is a super user. So we save that and we get exactly the same result as before. And um, just to show you another feature of the magic pages, you can add a uh, on save ready there we can say this title equals saved at and we save that then we save the page and we get the new page title here yeah so uh, there are some magic methods uh, and you can have a look at the magic pages module that lists all the magic uh, methods that, that you can use. It's uh, edit form, edit form content, edit form settings, on saved, on save ready, on created, on edit. And that's it. That's uh, just the, the most common uh, methods that I always need when working with custom page classes. So that's it for today. I hope you got a good impression of um, Rock Migrations and what it can do for you. I will likely make more videos about Rock Migrations in the future. So be sure to subscribe um, to my channel and I'm always happy to hear feedback. So leave me a comment below or um, you can also ask questions in the forum. And uh, if you like the module, give it a star on GitHub and um, happy coding and see you in the forum.